Is dog saliva dangerous for humans? All dog owners are exposed to their pooch's saliva at one time or another, either through affectionate licking or biting. However, the mouth and saliva of dogs naturally contain a large number of bacteria. If these do not present a problem for the animal in its natural environment, they can be dangerous for humans when they come into contact with its blood. Find out what these bacteria are, what the risks are for humans, the possible aggravating factors, the observable symptoms and the right steps to take in the event of infection. Is dog saliva dirty and dangerous for humans? Sayings such as, dog saliva is worth a doctor, dog's tongue is worth a doctor, or even, dog's tongue, doctor's tongue, were especially valid for the animal itself licking a wound. For humans, dog saliva, to date, has not shown any therapeutic benefits. You know that your dog uses his tongue every day, either to communicate, to explore his environment, or to lick himself. Licking is indeed important for the animal, because it participates in its mode of communication and understanding. However, the dog tends to lick a lot of things, on itself, in your interior and especially outside. As a result, the dog has a mouth that contains a lot of bacteria. Of course, the body of every living being contains billions of them which contribute to its well-being, its digestion or even the preservation of its immune system. But if some are used for the normal care of your dog's mouth and his entire body, others are truly dangerous and their contact with humans can be serious. The most famous bacterium that poses a real danger to humans and is very prevalent in the dog's mouth is Capnocytophaga canamorsis. Naturally present in the saliva of doggies, but also of cats and humans, it can cause very serious infections in humans if it enters their blood by biting or licking a wound. The danger of this bacterium is zero for the animal, because it comes naturally from its organism. On the other hand, when it leaves this context, it presents a significant risk and can become a pathogenic agent. What is the risk for humans in contact with this bacterium? As humans, our skin protects us from infections by forming a real barrier for a large majority of viruses, bacteria and microorganisms of all kinds. On the other hand, when we have a wound, the danger is real, because the bacteria can then pass into our blood and spread through our body. The dog can therefore transmit it to us by a bite that crosses the skin, by scratches that cause bleeding or even a lick on an unhealed wound. It turns out that due to a few rare cases of serious infections that have led to the death of humans, bacteria of the genus Capnocytophaga have been studied. The Capnocytophaga canamorsis bacterium is the most aggressive and the most dangerous, knowing that it has three strains, A, B and C. Capnocytophaga canis and Capnocytophaga cynodegmi bacteria are less virulent, but more widespread. Are there aggravating factors? It would seem that certain factors prove to be aggravating in the case of contact with the bacteria through the dog's saliva. Being immunocompromised, a weakened body will be less able to defend itself naturally against external attacks and will thus be more vulnerable to bacteria. Being a smoker or an alcoholic, these two characteristics are harmful to health and weaken our immune system. The fact of having wounds or lesions. These wounds and lesions are entry points for bacteria which thus reach the bloodstream through them. What are the symptoms in case of infection and how to act? An individual infected with this type of bacteria will present several symptoms. The first is a high fever, sometimes vomiting or tremors. Subsequently, as the bacteria spreads through the body through the bloodstream, it causes necrotic tissue damage that is very serious. Without rapid treatment and effective care, the patient is increasingly in bad shape and his death occurs within a few days. The risk is low, but it should be taken seriously. If you are bitten deeply by a dog or licked on a wound, immediately wash the lesion with clear water and soap to disinfect it well. If it is deep, see your doctor. If the wound seems superficial to you, but you notice the appearance of the first symptoms in the following days, consult your doctor urgently or go to the nearest emergency room. Do not wait, because the bacterium spreads through your body and attacks your tissues, causing significant damage. Some people died due to lack of care, others survived, but had to be amputated or developed serious illnesses. In general, on a daily basis, try to wash your hands well after touching your dog, 
but also the parts of your body, arms, legs, face, that he has licked. Avoid touching a child, a weakened person and food after such contact, without first washing. Finally, don't let your dog lick your face or any broken skin.